Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Lewis and I'm the lead developer at GetShot. Today we're going to be doing something fun. We are going to retarget a bear to a boar and using the NPC spawner, we are going to be able to spawn the bear and ride it, feed it, tame it, all of those great things. So let's get started. For now, all I've got placed is just this grid plane and an empty um, template level. Uh, place some meat because we'll need that and a spawner and that's it for now. Uh, I'll just delete this and I'll show you the whole process. So first of all, and this is by far the easiest part, um, we need to create the rig for the boar. So I'm going to call that IK underscore boar. And the skeletal mesh of the boar is included within Fortnite's content. So um, let's just select that. And now if we look at the boar, we can see that it has a particular skeleton. Uh, it's obviously not the same as the Fortnite character and it's also not the same as the Raptor. And whatever we're trying to ret retarget should have the closest um, bone hierarchy as what you're trying to retarget. So, and the reason being is that we're using the boar's animations. So obviously this wouldn't work with a raptor where its legs and arms move differently um, but a boar and a bear are quite similar so all we need to do is press this auto create retarget chains and then auto create ik the retarget route is already set and if we just take a look at the um the retarget chains now so we have the spine the spine, which is highlighted in blue here. We have the neck, the head, left leg, left arm, right leg, and right arm. So you may have noticed that some things are missing here, that being the tail and the ears, as well as the jaw. So we could add those chains and then the bear would, would and, and if we did the same thing with the bear, then its ears would move and its mouth and jaw would also move when it's eating or biting or something similar. Um, but for now, let's just keep it simple. We just want the bear to be able to run in the same manner as the boar and be able to ride it. So we're done in here. You can close this. And now we need to create the IK for the bear. So IK bear. So I have this bear um, skeletal mesh and you know, it, this could be a lot of things. It could be a deer, it could be a lion, you name it. If it has four legs and a head, you could ride it like a boar. So it won't work to create or auto retarget chains. Let's give it a go. No, it won't work. And let's delete the root bone. And the reason being is it doesn't have the same skeletal structure as the boar, although it is similar, so we've got to set it up manually. First of all, we want to set the retarget route to the pelvis. Oops. Set retarget route, not IK goal. Okay, and and let's just open up the boar, uh, yep, the boar retarget at the same time so that we can sort of cross-reference it as we're doing it. So first of all, Let's start with this, which is the left arm. So an easy trick here is that we can actually just select it in the hierarchy here, the, the, the bones we want and therefore the chain. Um, and in this instance, I think we want to go from the upper arm to the hand. Yeah, that looks right. If we look at the boar. It's the same. So they've not included the sort of toe bones and they've also not included the clavicle or the shoulder. So we can now select add new chain. It will already name it. And it has now also added the start bone and end bone that we've selected. And you can double check it here on the left. Okay, so now on to the right arm. So again, from the right upper arm to the right hand, right arm. And now we want to do the back leg. So from the, yep, from the calf. Oh, do, do, do. Let's have a look at the boar. 
Yeah, so they're doing it from the thigh. Okay. So from the thigh to the foot, left leg, and again for the right, thigh to the foot. Okay, so now we have the arms and the legs, but of course the boar also has the spine, the neck, and the head. So let's add those now. The head is easy, it doesn't have a chain, it's just a singular bone, so let's add that head and the neck and this could look different in with the skeletal mesh that you have but it's important just to do the start bone till the end bone and usually they are labeled appropriately as it is in this case so the spine goes from spine to spine one and let's add that chain and then finally we have the uh, neck so from neck to neck one Okay, now we can do, do, do. Yep. Let's just get remove that. Okay. Um now we can make the retargeter. So let's call this IKR underscore and I always name it the source to the target. So the source is the boar to bear the target. Reason being, you know, if you're doing a lot of retargets for a project, uh, it's just easier to keep organized like this. And also when you go to um, put it in the retargeter, you know, you know it, it's easy to see. We are adding the boar as the source here and the bear as the target. So in the first instance, you'll notice that the bear is significantly larger, um, but that's not a problem. In On the right hand side on the details panel, we can change the target mesh scale. So let's try maybe something like this. I think we can maybe afford to make it slightly bigger. Yeah. Now what we want to do is create a pose. So go to this button up here, create, and let's call this NPC bear pose. Um, then a sort of easy way to do it, you could manually align the bones, but an easy way to do it is just align all bones. And this might look a little weird now, but this is what we want. We want the bones to be as close to the ball so that the animation retargets properly. Okay, so we don't need to do any more within the retargeter. Next, we are going to set up the NPC. So in the content browser under AI or artificial intelligence, let's make a NPC character definition and call this NPC bear retarget or whatever you want to call it, but I already called it NPC bear. Um, let's call it NPC bear two. Okay. Um, so this might be something you recognize or something you worked with similarly with other NPCs but a slight difference here is we want to choose wildlife, the subtype we want it to be boar, um, the behavior can remain default and then we want to add the modifier for cosmetic, the character look should be custom and the character movement should be the retarget that we've created. IKR boar to bear and it says retarget for Fortnite character because the boar is a Fortnite character. And then finally we want to create the character blueprint. So let's call this BP bear 2. And we're now within the blueprint editor. As you can see, it is just a blueprint class. So like with any blueprint, we can add components. And in this case, we want to add the skeletal mesh. And we add the mesh in the details panel there. Um, what I like to do is to add whatever the source is. So be it a boar or a wolf or a raptor. 
into the blueprint as well so that we can sort of compare the size and also the seating position of the player. So this needs to be significantly smaller. I think it could even be slightly smaller. And the reason being is that the, and if we just sort of take the bear out of the equation for a moment, the player sits on the root bone on the on the pelvis right here. And so we want that to align with the bear. Obviously they don't have the same shape, um, which is an inconvenience, but not necessarily a problem. And one sort of easy way that we can work around that is just to move the bear into the position we would want the player. So now the player will sit sort of roughly here and they might slightly clip the back. We could even make this a tiny bit smaller. And this is definitely a, a baby bear now, not a full grown bear. Okay, so um, all we need to do now is save that and remove the ball. And now if we add the NPC character definition or the, the bear NPC that we've made, it will show the preview of it um, within the spawner, which is nice. So we know it's working. All I need to do now is to change some of the modifiers so we don't need to worry about the health or anything, but just taming and riding should be enabled. And in team settings, let's set it to wildlife. Okay, that should be everything. So let's push changes and test it out. All right, we're back in the editor and it's finished loading. So let's start the game. And this is the moment of truth. Let's see if this has worked. Let's pick up some meat. And there we have him. Me over there. Oh no, he's going for the meat on the spawner. <laughs> okay. So obviously the mouth isn't moving, and um, I explained why. But if you want to go the extra mile, then it's not hard to do. You just add those chains on both rigs. So we can now ride it and tame it. And the legs are a little bit strange. There's also a bit of clipping with the player, but generally this is not bad. And just a bit of finessing in the retarget. Um, you know, you could get it looking almost perfect. So, thank you for watching. Can't wait to see which animals uh, you will all retarget. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a like. This is a new channel and we'd love the support. Um, also, subscribe if you want to be notified of any future content. We've got some really cool things in store. Thank you so much. Bye.